Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. In this lesson we're going to be working on the tune The Boys of Blue Hill. It's a classic Irish hornpipe in the key of D. It's also um, the tune Twin Sisters, which is an old time tune. Um, I'm going to play it more in the kind of Irish hornpipe style, but if you do know or are looking for the tune Twin Sisters, um, it's got a slightly different feel. You can look up uh, that name and you'll find more of the old time feel for the tune, but it's almost identical. Um, to the boys of Blue Hill, which is what I'll be teaching today. Um, I'll play it through once so you can get a sense of what it sounds like, and then I'll break it down into sections. If you need help, there are tabs in standard notation uh, over at mandolessons.com, as well as play along tracks, chords to play along with, uh, you name it, and a bunch of other lessons. There's also a couple ways to donate, which is always appreciated. It helps me continue to put out lessons like this every week um, for free. Uh, the lessons will always be free. <coughs> And donation is totally voluntary. So let's get back to the tune. I'll play it through once and then break it down into sections. One. There's the tune, it might sound familiar, it's a kind of a, a Irish classic, uh, you might have heard the old time version, Twin Sisters. Um, it's got a lot of notes, um, but it's a lot of arpeggios and there's a fair amount of repetition, so don't get discouraged. Um, and if I do move along a little too fast for you, um, there are the tabs in standard notation over at Mando Lessons, or you can use, there's the slow down functionality down in, uh, I guess it would be this corner with the little gear on YouTube. That's a great, I use that all the time to kind of slow things down when people are moving too fast for me. You can bring it down to 50% or 75% speed and still get audio at the same pitch. It's a great thing to use. Okay, uh, so uh, first phrase sounds like this. Got a couple pickup notes. Again, key of D. And then the downbeat is second fret of the A string. Here's our first phrase. Let's do that again. Again. Next phrase. So that's just kind of a descending scale pattern. Again. Put those two phrases together, sound like this. Two, three. Again. second half of the A part is almost identical, different pickup notes. So 5-2 and then repeat the 2 for the downbeat of the next measure. And that's the only difference at the end to resolve it. So let's play the A part through twice. Um, 
I think you'll get a hang of it once you hear it a couple times. One, two, three. Moving on to the B part, pick up notes, downbeat is the 5th fret of the E string. Let's do that again. Again. Next phrase. So that's very similar to the ending of the first half of the A. Just a couple of different pickup notes. Uh, five, three, down to the two. Once you get to the two, it's that same descending scale pattern. So let's do that whole first half of the B. Two, three. Let's do it again. Two, three. And then the second half of the B is the same as the ending of the A. So let's do the B part twice through, um, and then we'll play it all together. But B part starting now. One, two, three. Again. That's the whole B section. It's always nice when the second half of the B is the same as the second half of the A. It really cuts down on things to learn. So, uh, that's the whole tune. Let's play it through from the top. One, two, three.
and there's the whole tune all right so uh again if you need help with any of that there i know there's a lot of notes in there and i went kind of fast through this one or else it'd be a 20 something minute long video instead of a 10 minute video um but uh got, do check out uh mando lessons for the tab standard rotation play along tracks will be really helpful on this one um and yeah i'll play it through one more time a little faster with some uh, double stops and ornaments um if you're interested in double stops and ornaments there's some lessons in the technique and fundamentals section of my website on how to add that sort of stuff into any tune so here we go one two three I did that B part twice, but I can't remember. Sometimes I lose track. Um, and one thing also I wanted to do, in case you are coming here for Twin Sisters, the old time version, I'll just give you a little bit of kind of how it sounds as an old time tune. You pretty much just take that swing out of your right hand and it becomes this. feel um and that's sort of how i differentiate the two but other people might do it differently um but uh, you know take out a couple notes is always helpful on some of the old time stuff um but that's that's the tune i uh, hope you enjoyed it again uh check out mandolessons.com for more lessons and hope to see you again soon Bye bye